down in the forest, something stirred. And here at last is a chance to find out what. So that's what it was, a scooter with a fringe on top. With our type of climate, enthusiasts like these have always been the laughing stock of conventional motorists. Every time it rains, they get soaked. So now the designers have put a roof over their heads. The girls, by the way, are driver Venia Batono, a shorthand typist, and riding pillion, actress Julie Alexander. But pretty as they are, they're not the reason for our visit. And nor is that roof a limit to the ingenuity of designer Victor Rosen. The machine does, in fact, form the basis for the newest thing in camping, the scooter tent. ultra-light protective framework is fitted a couple of tubular bars, giving a headroom of six foot six inches. It's so simple, even a woman can put it together. Although, as you can see, they still get muddled at times. This is certainly the most portable tent we've seen. On the road, as we saw before, the whole contraption, including the canvas, weighs less than 20 pounds. And from that neat little contraption, we get a much larger than average tent with headroom of six foot six inches, eight feet wide, and six and a quarter feet long. If you're the nervous type, there's no need to worry about the scooter being stolen either. To take that, a thief would have to take the tent as well. Actually, the position of the scooter is optional, although the designers don't recommend having it in the middle of the tent because of the possibility of fumes. One final thought, what a boon to lazy campers. Once it's up, you could drive around the country with your home literally on your back. <laughs>